uh, midi dudes. Um, still, uh, still trying to work that out. Um, welcome to the first installment of Seamus's midi song file reviews. As a series, I hope to continue on for um, months, even maybe, hopefully. You know, I'm gonna try not to burn myself out on it, but uh, I feel like this is a passion of mine. I love midi files. I've been a big fan of midi files for a long time. I love to listen to them, they feel good, uh, I love the tunes, I love the sounds, um, so I don't think it's something I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit anytime soon, I think it's gonna be a, an ongoing series. Um, so today, for our first review, we're gonna, we are, uh, gonna review the, the song, um, Every Morning by Sugar Ray dot M-I-D, um, Actually, maybe an extra consignment is it .mid or .midi. Uh, I'm just a, I'm just a fan. I'm, I don't know the technical stuff, uh, but I I think it's mid. So um, every morning, Sugar Ray. Uh, link in the description if you want to listen to the version I listen to. Um, I just gotta say, I'm off the bat. I love big fan of the original song by the band Sugar Ray, not MIDI. Uh, made live, baby. I uh. It's a great tune, makes you feel good, relaxed, uh, I have fun with my friends when I listen to it. It's just a great song overall, you know, very relaxed, very chill. <clears throat> um, so when I saw a MIDI file for it, I got I got really excited, you know. So I, uh, I took a listen, and um, what, I, what I heard was good. I did enjoy it, because it's Every Morning by Sugar Ray, and that's just a classic song. But it just... Like, it wasn't as good as the original, I have to say. Um, I found... I found the melodies lacking. Um, the guitar tone and vocal co and vocal tone during the, um, during the verses uh, were the same. So, I expected, like, a, you know, like a lead vocal line. Um, like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, it was missing. It wasn't there. Um, and then you had the, um, the guitar fill with a different tone, I like that a lot, you know, but where's the vocal line? That's, that's really what I wanted to know. After the chorus ended, it just kind of, like, just fizzled out. So that was really disappointing, um, and that made the song as a whole sort of stale. You know, the vocals really carry that song when you think about it, so to not have those is a pretty big mistake. Um, it wasn't all bad, though. I really enjoyed the bass line. The bass line was, um flamboyant it was walking baby it was good i really liked it i really liked the bass tone it was a fun nice tone um and then towards the end it goes into a break and it goes it gets real rocking in there you know and it's it pumped me up a bit and then you got some nice uh some nice string tones sort of going up in there as as it rocks out and i really like that i really appreciated that but overall the lack of vocals are just I don't know, it sort of took me out of the element. So I'm, I'm going to have to give this dot mid um, 6.10. No, that'd be a 7. No, that would be 6.1. Oh, it's my first, my first fucking video and I botched it. <sighs> okay. Okay. I gotta give it a 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, what did you think of the MIDI? Uh, leave your leave your comments. Uh, if you want have a MIDI song you want me to review next, leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Um, I need those uh, subscribers. Um, thanks for watching. And um, I didn't think of a closing. I guess I can do a... Uh, uh,